Is this just because this is a new house and I don't quite understand how I'm going to do my filming setups from now on? Or am I about to lay some sweet Bob Saget life advice via full house? But somehow this is very formal. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Hello. <laughs> this house is a work in progress, so please pardon our appearance. I like to call this room the toothpaste room. Minty fresh. So my friends, this week we are going to be making something, which is a relief, I'll tell ya. My stuff has been packed away for like over a month now and I really haven't been able to stretch my making phalanges. My sewing paraphernalia is still very chaotically spread across many boxes, which may have not been the most educated choice on my part, but something I do have a lot of is packing materials. I had this plan that I wanted to remake a selkie dress. If you have not seen selkie dresses, they are very floofy, makes you look like one of those crocheted toilet paper covers that were like little dolls, or was that just my grandmother that had those? Pretty much everything that selkie produces is beautiful, but they are quite pricey. Let's just see how much. Seems like most of their dresses range from about 300 to 500. Not something I tend to spend on clothing. <laughs> Initially, I was thinking that I would make a silky dress out of recycled materials, bed sheets, curtains. As I was moving, one of my best friends, Sarah, and I were meticulously and excessively wrapping all of my gigantic mirrors in bubble wrap because um, they were expensive and I love them more than I think someone could love a human child. She said something along the lines, after seeing the gratuitous amount of bubble wrap that we were using, that I should make a dress out of it. And suddenly the two ideas meshed into one. So I am trying uh, to get a little bit better about concise intros, but man. <laughs> This week, we are going to make a selkie dress out of bubble wrap and various packing material. A dress out of trash, but it's pretty trash. So I did save all of my packing materials in various boxes. That's so strong. And then the third box is out in the barn. Give me a second. I also wanna say hi to my fishes. Good morning, my children. <laughs> Never mind. I guess I already brought it in. Dummy dum dum. All right. Well, that was pointless. All right. Never mind. I guess I only have two boxes. Let's see what I got. <laughs> it's like that scene in Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> We have four different sets of materials here. These little styrofoam packets. Big boys here, big bubbly boys. So this is kind of the larger bubbles. And then this is smaller bubble boys. Foam padding that you put like dishes in and such. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make anything out of this because it is pretty fragile. I don't know, it's kind of pretty. The feminine urge to jump upon this and make it all pop is palpable, but I'm not gonna do it. So yeah, it's a lot. It's it's basically just wasteful winter wonderland, if you will. Now as someone who really does not enjoy making trash or being wasteful, this is a little painful for me. Hopefully we're only moving once in our lives and I never have to do this again. How long do you think bubble wrap lasts? Can I pass this on to my grandchildren? It is what it is. For now, we're going to make a dress out of it. For the selkie dress, I'm thinking something like their shorter dresses. So it's going to be that empire waist, floofy sleeves, floofy skirt, just very cupcakey, <laughs> big boy bubble wrap for the skirt because I feel like that will give it the most volume. Smaller bubble wrap I'll probably use for the bodice, possibly the sleeves as well. Maybe I can use for like edging, maybe some ruffles. I'm thinking I'm gonna go grab my dress form and then we're just going to drape this fabric. The only thing I really have to pattern out is the bodice, I think. And that's also pretty easy because there isn't that much of it. A lot of silky dresses are just the skirt and then a little bit of the top. So let's play with some trash. Hey, look, 
the simple addition of a robe, I have now transformed my outfit to going to get the newspaper grandpa. I'm very much trying to decide how I'm going to put things together. I'm thinking maybe hot glue, because I know that's y'all's favorite. Pin the material to the dress form and then kind of just draw out where I want the different powder pieces to go. Wish me luck. Good morning. Okay, now we're on brand. All right, day two. I got a little bit of progress done yesterday, as you may have seen. The living room is like a landmine right now. The front section and then the two side sections, which are mirror images of each other. That's the nice thing about making patterns is that you only really have to do it for one side and then the other side is just a copy. So now I just have to make the back piece with enough give on both sides that I think I want to do Velcro for this because I don't know how else I would put this on. <laughs> Velcro it is. I don't know what it is about making clothes out of trash that brings me so much joy, but just call me Oscar because I too have bushly eyebrows and I'm passionate about garbage. Yeah, let's get to work. It's better to have more leeway than less way. <laughs> Okay, for the skirt, I'm kind of struggling on how I'm gonna do this. I will probably have to do a few layers just because silky dresses are ginormous. Kind of need a way to anchor it up top just to help me build the structure of the skirt. Maybe I'll make a quick waistband out of elastic. Maybe another under layer after that. Finally, the outer layer, which we will try to gather up at the bodice and make it very poofy. The panels of bubble wrap are only yay thick so i'm thinking i'm going to take some packing tape instead of glue attach a few different sections together kind of treat it as fabric i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to gather this maybe i can like pin it to where i want it gathered and then just glue it maybe first things first i'm probably just going to make those panels of fabric that's sort of important <laughs> important <laughs> okay bugs bunny let's get started whoa <laughs> Jesus Christ, these floors are slippery. She's a trash queen. All right, so that right now is two layers of bubble wrap. And then I think I'm going to add a third, probably directly onto the bodice, like right here. It will look something like this. And then once we add the ruffles, it will look like this. So I'm sort of wondering if I should just do that after the sleeves, because otherwise the bodice is gonna be pretty heavy and kind of hard to put the sleeves on. So I think. Thank you. Let me do it. <coughs> I inhaled some of the cocoa powder. Now the sleeves I'm going to make out of um, that smaller bubble wrap material, the same thing that the bodice is made out of. And because I want to make giganto balloon sleeves, I think I'm gonna do the same method that I did for the skirt and just take a few rows, tape them together, 
and then cut the sleeve pattern out of that. For the sleeves, I'm going to be using this 1890s sleeve pattern. I'm not saying you should be impressed that I found this amidst all of my pattern chaos, but just in case you want to be, I'll give you a couple seconds of silence here for you. Okay, so basically this is just half of it. Um, you put this on a fold so that it's kind of like twice the size. I am going to take a break for today because it's starting to get a little dark out. But tomorrow we can start putting the sleeves together with the bodice and then the outer skirt and then the trim. So I will see you first thing in the morning. Good morning. Fun little surprise, it snowed last night. So I got to see the first snow in the new house. I would like to cordially invite you to a dramatic reenactment of how I appreciate snow. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, time to go back inside. So today we are finishing this baby up. This is what I have so far. I love it so much. <laughs> and so what I have to do today, get the sleeves all situated, probably make a strap of some kind to glue them onto because otherwise it's gonna be pretty hard to gather them. And then attach the sleeves, make the outer layer of the skirt, decide if I want to add any of that foam padding for like trim. Oh yeah, other than that, I guess it's just like finishing touches and such. Finishing touches, shush. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm excited. This is fun. Sweaty. Wrap up time. I'm not even gonna bother trying to do my mic. Apologize if the audio is shitty. Here she is. My bubble wrap dress. I know I proclaimed my love for working with trash before, but I will die gladly upon that garbage hill. Honestly, I don't know what I expected, but I did not expect it to be so agreeable when making this dress. I thought I was gonna have a lot more problems with the bubble wrap than I did and like attaching everything, but honestly, if I could just hot glue every single one of my sewing projects, I totally would because it was so much easier. <laughs> I am really surprised that it ended up looking like a real dress. It's very poofy, a little bit more poofy than the silky dresses, and I truly do feel like one of those toilet dolls. 
stick me on top of a roll and put me in the corner of your grandma's bathroom. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with this now. Maybe just store it and then if I need bubble wrap in the future, just use it for transporting things. Or if one of my friends is moving, I can say, here, take this dress, wrap your valuables in it. First project in the new house, um, trash dress. So, what's that? I'm late for the bowl. That is it. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload most Fridays and we have fun here and sometimes make things out of garbage. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Man, something they don't tell you about having a house with stairs is that you get really winded. A lot of dry shampoo in there. I basically looked like Mozart. Ah oh yes, waiting for my old house to stop making old house noises. This will be a fun new thing. <laughs> Trash and queen, young and sweet. You can't touch this. And so what I have to do to it, blah, blah, mm. is this a lot of effort for just a bit? Yes, absolutely. But that's not gonna stop me. Was it worth it? Can you work it? Put your thing down, flip it in, reverse it. I feel like a baked potato. Here you go. Oh, I can do anything. Is that as high as you can jump? <laughs> Is that better?